With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, in the thermal decomposition of potassium chlorate given as 2 KClO3 giving a solid, giving 2 KCl solid plus 3 O2 gas, the gas, the law of mass action. Now, what do you mean by the law of mass action? Now, for example, I have a general reaction Ka plus Ed giving Cc plus Dd, right? So, according to the law of mass action, the equilibrium, we can express, now this is an equilibrium reaction, right? So, we can express the equilibrium constant of this reaction, A, as the concentration of the products, right? Each raised to their stoichiometric coefficient divided by the concentration of the reactants, again, each raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, right? So, basically, we can find out the equilibrium constant for a reaction using this law of mass action, right? which is the concentration of products divided by the concentration of the reactants, right? So, as far as the reaction given to you is concerned, uh, the law of mass action can be applicable, right? Now, for this, the rate will not be as much, right? Also, the law of mass action says that the rate of the reaction is proportional to the concentration of the reactants, right? It is proportional to the concentration of the reactants, right? So, basically, the rate of the reaction will be not that great, but we can apply the equilibrium, um, we can apply the law of mass action, we can find out the equilibrium constant for this reaction using the law of mass action, right? There's no such condition of temperature or pressure to apply the law, right? The law can be applied, therefore, the correct answer for this question is option number two. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.